Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about our data. We've given the first three-week assessment, so now what? What do we do with our data? Well, if you are in Eduphoria, there are several different reports that you can run to see your data and see where your strengths and weaknesses are, and even reports to share with students or parents. So I'm logged in as a teacher today. I'm going to go to AWARE. And within AWARE, I want to be on the Analyze tab, which is this tab here, the very first one. And you can see I'm logged in as uh, Miss Laura, who is an eighth grade math teacher. So first we see her math classes here. Then we see all my students, my student groups, my teams, my reports. Now, if you just want to see your scores, you come here and you can come here, local test, I'm in her second period math class, local test, mathematics, 2018-19 school year, eighth grade, we're drilling down, eighth grade math, first three week assessment. That's what I want to see. I want to see how my students did. Now, when I bring it up, you can see students because I'm over here on the students tab. If I come to the campus summary, I'll see just how my students did as a campus summary. I mean, very good kudos to Miss Laura. Her kids scored a 91% on approaches on the first test. So that's awesome. So if I want to see it by just an overall group, I'm going to click this little building here, which is the campus summary. If you hover over it, it'll tell you what each one of these mean. District summary is going to be the same because we only have one grade level. We don't have multiple middle schools. This is by teacher. If I had more than one teacher teaching, I could break it down by teacher. And then, of course, I can break it down over here by individual students. This one here is course section summary, which I know I'm in my second period class, so I don't need to do that either. So I can break it down by student this way. Um, if I wanted to see how um, each individual student that is an LEP student did, I could come here to where it says LEP. I can double click on it and it's going to bring it up by student at that time and I'll be able to see their score for that class. Remember, I'm only in the second period class. You can also e export this information. You could do it by student, export it to Excel, and then manipulate it however you want. So what I want to do is run a report that I can show my students and they'll understand what they're doing. So you come all the way down here to the very bottom where it says reports. Everyone has this. Now I have several different types of reports that I can run, as you see. These are teacher reports. These are provided by Eduphoria. These are lead forward reports. These are provided by lead forward. And so you have multiple reports. The one that I really like that you can share with students and with parents is this student test summary report. So if I click on this, it brings it up here. It asks me to find my test. So I'm going to go to second period, local test, mathematics, 1819, eighth grade, first three week assessment. I'm going to hit submit. Now it's going to take a while to bring this up. I've already done this once. So when it comes up, it's going to come up down here in my bottom of my page. And I'm going to click on it. So again, it's going to take about five minutes to bring up. So to save time, I've already done this. So I'm going to come up here. I've already opened it up. Here is my second period class. Each student, it tells you their information. It gives you the objective chart. Tells me what categories I tested on. Tells me what learning standards I tested on and how the student did. So I know that this student really needs to work on 2A and 1D. And it also tells me 2A is an S, which is a supporting standard. 1D is a... Uh, process standard, which is also counted double as a sta as a supporting or readiness standard. So you get two hits off of that one. So I know that I need to reteach those peaks for the student, for this student. And then down here, it tells me how this student actually answered these questions. So I had 10 questions and I know that one was wrong. 
and she only missed one and I'm showing that she was not strong up here that's because the process standard counts twice so here it is and then I can go through I could send this home to my parents I can sit down and have individual conferences with the students so this is powerful information for our students and for you to know where they're strong and where they're weak. There are lots of other reports and you can come down, go through the reports. Um, there's an incorrect response report. This is great for you so you know what you need to come back and reteach in each individual class. I'm drilling down. I'm finding my eighth grade, second period. I want it. I can order it by question, learning standard, or by category, depending on how I want to look at it. I hit submit, and again, it's going to take a few minutes. So this one didn't take as long because it's not generating a report for every student. So here I know answer A. These are the students that missed it. This is what, or this is question number one. The correct answer is A. This student answered B. This student answered D. Here you see all these J's for number two. That tells me that either the number two question is not a good question, or there's something here, a descriptor, or something that's causing these students to answer J. And it could be the correct answer might supposed to be J. I doubt it. But these are things that I need to go back and see what's in this question that made them all answer J. And so you can do that for you. It's a good report to have. You know there were 19 kids in the class, and this is how each one of them answered. Again, here's another one where J and F. So there's some distractors in J and F. I don't know, or in question number six, J and F both have distractors. So these are things that you can do. Go back and look at questions and see how they're asked and how you might need to reteach those areas that are low. Again, there's all kinds of reports here. You come down to analyze all the way down to the bottom to reports. And here are all of your various reports. You can get heat maps, colored maps. You can put them in uh, to quintile reports, your lowest students here on the bottom of the quintile so you know who you need to put into tutorials. All of these reports are here. They're ready for you. All you have to do is access them through AWARE. Thank you and have a good afternoon.